you're looking for like fast growth, then tapping into these these international markets that don't typically get a type of love are the route to that. That's one of the, I think I said it on, I don't know if I said it on here or, or called somebody else, but like that to me is like the dirty secret of the music industry is like they sell a lot of you on the dream of just kind of like popping in the US, but then back in they're building in Mexico and in India and Brazil. And at least the ones that like get it right, like Russia and stuff, because it's a lot cheaper. Money's gonna feel the same when it hits your bank account. And like I said earlier, the US and all is, is never going anywhere. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, what is it to go pop your stuff off in Russia real quick, get a quick thousand, two thousand fans, you know, they're streaming your music. Maybe you're not making as much because their streams don't count as much, but you're still making money, you're, you're selling merch. And then you take that money and you put it into the things that now help you continuously build yourself into more competitive markets. That's how I tend to kind of like think about the international market stuff is like, you know, I, I think especially with like, if you're in America, it's very hard to think about the music industry outside of the US, you know, but, um, and it, it, I know like even with India specifically, like I kind of used to be on that same wave of like, oh, like India, cause you hear about it and like the ass stuff. And then I have a homie um, who, he had a, a a bunch of like Indian roommates and I just had a conversation with him one time. He just like asked me, he was like, one of the roommates asked me, he was like, bro, like why don't American artists like push themselves to us? Like we like rap music too. And I was like, bro, I don't know. Like I never thought of it. I was like, I never had a conversation with somebody to like kind of think of it that way. Like the right to like meet real people who, who are looking at like, yo, why don't y'all advertise yourselves to us? So, um, you know, I don't know. It's a lot of things I think go into it, but that to me is like the dirty secret of the music industry is that these bigger entities, have some type of international fan base a lot of the times before they get the US audience. I, I think I've said it on here hundreds of times. If you ever get to catch an artist when they first get signed to a label and you think it's an artist that they're seriously going to try to break, watch what they do for their artists. One of the first things they do is they send them on an international tour because they know it's gonna be much easier to advertise them to these markets. The appeal is gonna be a lot different because you're not you're not you're not trying to convince some like 16 year old that you know, Playboy Cardi fan that you're the next big thing. You're trying to convince this, you know, this Russian kid that hasn't seen an American artist in three years, you know, since two three years that you're the, the next big thing. It's not that hard because they're so removed from the culture. So it's like that is he's about, he's about to re ask the question. I already know. But uh, like, but that that is like the, one of the dirty secrets of the music industry. Wow, oh, what's up, it's Brand Man Sean. And if you got value from this video, we got a ton of value to offer you in brandmannetwork.com. It's completely free. The link is in the description if you want to talk with us directly or some of the people in our community in between videos so you can ask questions specific to you or hop on one of the live sessions that you see on the channel when we're speaking with other artists. Brandmannetwork.com is the place to go. Hop into our app. It's really dope and you get access to free courses as well, but it might not be free forever. So hurry up and get in there before I change my mind.